Hey friends, what's going on? So a lesson here for the song Sedona by Houndmouth. Awesome song from an awesome album. And here I am in Sedona, Arizona, on vacation. Seemed like the only logical place to learn this song. So here's a playthrough. I'll do a lesson afterwards. You can get the PDF at my website, playsongnotes.com, and learn it for yourself. So let's get into it. Don't be filled Right smack on top So don't ever build John Ford said Won't you hop on in And stage coach baby Gonna take you for a spin of Blacklist and it soaks Came down so swift And it drove into the coast Going to California but we're all out of work I guess that's better than a grave in a hustle Okay, so first note about this song is capo, right? I'm gonna be doing this in the key of C with no capo. If you wanna play along with Houndmouth, use key of C and add capo on the third fret, okay? That'll let you be in the same key as them. I'm not sure what key they actually played it in as far as chord family. I like the key of C because it lets you do these little riffs, right? These little walk ups and walk downs. I tried a bunch of keys and this is the best one for that, so I'm going with that. Just wanted to call that quick note out. First, let's look at the chords, okay? This is gonna be in the key of C, so C, F, G are the only chords we're gonna need. It's a three chord song, which is nice, but there's a few um, simplifications we're gonna do and also a few different ways we're gonna modify some of the chords. But again, this is really um, relatively beginner friendly in that the F chord you're gonna need, um, you can totally do this without ever doing the barred F chord, right? I'm gonna be doing a two or three string version of the F. A lot of the time so it's nice and accessible there so here's the chords right regular C regular F regular G if you're curious about that right um, but for the F especially let me call out a few simple ways to do it one is you can just do the second third and fourth string 
okay? Just as simple as that, right? Third fret, second fret, first fret on the fourth, third, and second string. If you're going to strum it, the idea is sort of um, target or localize your strum with your right hand to only get those strings, right? If you can. Another way you can do it is the middle four strings, third, third, second, first. This gives you a bit more volume and fullness because you have an extra string in there. And when I do this strum, I'm kind of just muting the thickest string and the thinnest string by like letting my fingers sort of touch it over there, and that sort of kills the sound. This lets you do a full six string strum, right, of your F, which is nice. And then another version, if you're so inclined, is you can sort of do this three string version I showed you and then wrap your thumb. This is much more advanced and I would only recommend doing this if you already have this technique under your control. But I wanted to call those out as far as the chord shapes. Now, let's look at the chord modifications we're gonna need. And what I'm talking about here is there's a few different chords, like the C for example, where we wanna be able to sort of comfortably go from a C chord, and this case I'm using just the middle four strings of a regular C chord then what we have um, a C add nine which is basically putting our pinky down on the third fret of the second string and that lets us do you know sort of go between these two voicings and then we go back to a regular C but with the thinnest string included and the thing to pay in mind here pay attention to is, is when you're strumming or you're doing finger style whatever the thinnest note, the highest in pitch note you're going to play is, right, hear that? I'm basically doing this little walk up from those three notes, and this is all with my regular C voicing, and then for this, this note, I'm using the C at 9 with my pinky. Um, this is going to come up with the intro and with the strumming that I'm going to show you later. Um, so it, the main point here is when you're strumming, you don't want to always do all the strings. Sometimes you want to confine the number of strings you're playing. And then... Okay, so for the first C and for the C at 9, I'm only strumming um, up to the second string. I'm not doing the first string until I do that version with the open E. And what that, that lets us do, again, is incorporate those high melody notes into our strumming. This is going to come up later, but I want to introduce you to the actual chord shapes here. The other one is for this F. If you just did a uh, fourth and third string, okay, third fret, second fret, right? And if you want, you could put your fifth string note down to L as well. But the important part here is pay attention to those uh, third and second string notes. Then we go to the second string open with the F and the asterisk, the star, right? And then we put our index finger down. Right? So... So... That's sort of the melody note we want to get comfortable with, if we can, go upping and downing on, right? <laughs> upping and downing. Right? Two string F, three string. This is the starred version with the open second string. And then we put our index finger down on the B string. Pull the index finger off. We're going back down now and back to the regular F that has the third string as the highest note. Again, this is going to come up later. I'm introducing it here. And a final version of this is an F. Whether you do the four string version or the three string version where the G string has your finger removed. Right? So middle finger off on the G string, middle finger back down. I have this as two stars in my, my notes here. This is going to come up when we strum later on, right? Okay, and that's going to mimic what the, I think the keyboard is doing on the album version, right? We're going to do that by uh, with our guitar. So those are the modifications. Keep those in mind because next we're going to look at the intro riff here. Now the intro riff is um, it's played with a lead guitar, right? So here's two different ways to play it with uh, your acoustic solo guitar, right? Um, the first one I want to introduce this idea of these sort of these melody notes that are high up in pitch, right? The Then you walk it down, dun, 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 dun. and you go to the F, right? With the third string as your highest string. Dun, 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 dun. 
stay on that for a while, and you walk it up, okay, from that F star, or the <laughs> then to a back here, regular F. And again, it's these highlighted melody notes here that we want to ring out. So we want those to be the highest notes we play. So this version, if I just played it, so this first one we're going to do three times, this C, right? So we're going to walk it down with that C at 9 I showed you earlier. Da, 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 da. Then go to an F. Da, 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 bum, 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 bum. Stay on that second fret for a while. And then go to that F star. And then put our index finger down. Okay? To get that final F. So really it's, it's about these melody notes, but incorporating the chords and the strumming into that. And here's how you would incorporate strumming into that, right? I'll do this again. Okay? So the open E string. And we walk it down. Then the F, right? Then walk to the F star. Okay? Um, and we go back up to the to the C and we start the whole thing again. Now that's strumming, what was I doing there? I was just kind of doing a down up down down up down up down up down up down up down up down. Just light brushes, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You could do a down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. I kind of revert to kind of just doing constant up and downs when I'm doing this particular riff because you just want more to work with with your strumming hand, right? For the rest of the song, when you're not doing this riff as much, then these other strumming patterns are going to come back into play. Let me show you how um, I like to play the intro though if you want to mimic what the, the lead guitar is doing. So here, it's going to be the same um, highlighted melody notes, but the idea is we're going to pulse between the bass note of the chord. So it's going to be... F for a while. Okay, repeat it. So you do this three times on the C. Walk it down. Then do this three times on the two strings of the F. Walk it up. Okay? So all it is is the fifth string of the C and the first string of the C. You're going to play that um, three times each, you know, three times. Then you walk it down. Okay, walk it down. So here the idea is you're gonna now when you want now when you want to transition from the C at nine to the F, my recommendation to you is to move your ring and middle fingers at the same time, right? Okay. That gets you in the second fret note for the F in time. Open second string, and then first fret second string. Okay, and that lets you do the the, the walk down there. So, this is the sort of um, the the two different ways I recommend approaching the intro. This is kind of tricky. I think first memorize these melody notes. Then, once you have the chord shapes and the, the rhythm good, combine the two however you see fit, right? And walk it up. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, you got to spend time with this one. I know I did. I spent a lot of time just getting these two um, arrangements good, and ultimately, when, especially once you're once you're singing, it's about incorporating strumming that you feel comfortable with, right? So that's how you do the the intro. Now, how do you do the rest of this song, right? So first, a quick note about strumming is these two patterns I have here. The first of which is a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Try to give an accent to the two and the four count if you can, right? One, two, three, and four, and 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 down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up,
The other one would just be a down, down, up, a down, up, 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 down, down, up. You can use whichever you want when it comes down to the verse and the chorus that we're going to look at starting now. So the 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 progressions for this is pretty straightforward. It's mainly going to be C and F and back to C and then F and then we're going to do a C F G to end each verse. And this and in the chorus is just going to be C F G C F G C F G C F G. So it, it's nice and three chord simple, but it's really these walk downs that you can incorporate into things. And some of these modified chords that I showed you earlier that you can incorporate into the strumming to give it some character. And it sounds a lot more fun than just or a lot more complicated than just a simple three chord song. Right? So for the verse, um, if you want, you can use the intro riff. Right? Start with this. The red sandstone it fell. I'm gonna walk it up, right? Rise smack on top of Sedona Arabelle. Okay, now what I do here is start bringing in some strumming. John Ford said, won't you hop on in and the stage coach baby gonna take you for a spin on So see how I did that there? I went from a regular strum, and I, at the end of the first chorus, I kind of dialed it back to that intro picking. Okay, play with dynamics in this song. You want this song to be one big swell, one big crescendo up to those final verse and that final chorus when things will get nice and nice and heavy. So um, that's what we're going to do now. Let me talk about some of these modifications. Okay, the first of which is going to be this idea of. Um, uh, on the F going from that right this F with a double star back to a regular F I like to do this when I get to the F so um, let's look at the let's look at the verse so when John Ford said won't you hop on in the stage coach baby gonna take you for a spin over see that right there then you go to the G Okay, um, let's look at another another verse here. Do the same thing. So, the blacklist and its hopes. Right. Third string open. Okay, and this other modification we can do is going from a C at nine to a regular C. We're doing that in the in the regular C. So. Blacklist and its hopes. So I hope that was helpful there. Again, um, in the first two lines of the verse is when I'll typically do the do these modifications on the F and also the C. And then the second two lines of each verse, things pump up a little bit, then I'll just do straight strumming. Right? And then adds a bit of um, just intensity as you're swelling things up. So that's going to be it for the little modifications you're going to do. And then you just uh, put all this together, and I hope this is helpful. You know, this is one of my favorite songs from one of my favorite albums in the last five years or so, and it's been fun working this out. And um, I'm actually here in Sedona, Arizona, as I probably said at the beginning of this video. I have these amazing views, and why this song I think is more L.A. or Hollywood in focus. It is called Sedona, and I am here in Sedona. so. I wanted to do a little bit of a recording 
from this spot and capture this song. Hope you found this helpful. Check out the website, playsongnotes.com. You get the PDF I put together for this. You can follow along, print it out, and all that stuff. So I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, and until next time. Bye-bye.